Hello everybody, time for Sunday Shave. Tale of, of Old Bond Street, Grapefruit Scented. It says Grapefruit Luxury Shaving Soap Cream. Luxury, yeah, it's really nice soap or cream. Gonna finish with Hega, Swedish classic balm. I think it's really nice. It's uh, love and hate here in Sweden. Someone, there's people that don't like it, and there's people that just love it. The brush today, my uh, Simog Taksugo Badger brush, and uh, Shave It Ray is my uh, beautiful piece in a forest half six eight razor. Gold plated in the back, wooden handle, uh, rounded tip. Ah, it's a really beautiful razor with nice gold etchings and everything. Love it real much. Real beauty. Okay, let's start. Take squeeze out. On the brush, the brush has been soaked for a couple of minutes. Oh, and we got. Oh, I said the blob. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Two days ago, my last shave was. Uh, my Friday shave, so it's two days ago. I think the scent is really nice on this uh, cream. Not so strong, but uh, really pleasant. And more water. I don't remember how many weeks ago I did the handle to my uh, razor brushes. I did three handles. I would turn them by myself and uh, I have clear coat of them and I just waiting for the brush head to arrive from Maggards. Uh, so I hope it will arrive Wednesday this upcoming week because they have been stuck in the Swedish custom as usual for a couple of days and uh, I got a notification that uh, oh I forgot the paper that um, it was it was arrived and I have to bail that out <laughs> pay some money. So I did it too ah, did it with crooked, doesn't matter. So I Oh, it will arrive to my mailbox this uh, Wednesday. And when I have uh, glued the knots, you can see the finished results. The brush, I don't know if you can see it, I uh, don't know. <laughs> down here just a moment here's the handle handles 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 <laughs> clear coated and finished for uh, you see my branded and myself so I'm just waiting for the brush knots to arrive so I can uh, glue them and show them to you when it's finished and I hope they're gonna be really nice I hope so at least I 
I bought the uh, oh, just a moment. I bought 25, uh, 24 millimeter knots, synthetic. So I hope it will work fine. I was just looking at uh, some YouTube videos, not shaving related, but um, it was about blacksmithing. And I always, for at least 10 years ago, I was thinking it would be fun to learn some blacksmith, uh, but I haven't had time, money and effort to learn the skills. So I'm just looking at videos and when I was looking at videos, uh, I think it was five months ago, I looked at um, Japanese blacksmith doing katana swords and uh, I looked at the videos today too and uh, I think it's Marvelous to see the old, old skills still alive when people do these knives with tradition or these blades with tradition. There's so many craftsmanship to do beautiful katana. Cause a blacksmith. Doing the forging of the katana and uh, doing the rough forging and then. When the sword is forged, he's gonna grind it, polish it, doing a rough polish on it. And when it's roughly polished, then he goes to uh, another master of polishing and honing when that's done the sword goes to another master who's doing the i don't know what covers but you get the sword where you stuck the sword in <laughs> and pull it out i don't know what it calls in the english but uh, I don't. I think you know what I mean. And when that's done, the knife goes to another person who does the handle and the gravings or the ah, the thing you have on your handle when you hold the on the handle and the plate that is on, on the handle and the blades come out here. The plate you do carvings on that and everything and it it's different kind of masters doing different kinds of things and when the finishing product is ready to use it have taken about between uh, I think they said six 
to six to ten months to do a katana from the beginning and to see these skillful masters doing their job it's absolutely marvelous to look at i think it's really fantastic to see it's not just forging the blade and get the blade to decide length is how they force them using two types of steel uh, today there is problem getting these pure metal like what they use uh, i'm just going to take that part first here because the almost cut myself down. <laughs> That's the best thing when you use a straight razor. You get some feedback of what you're doing. <laughs> if I had used a Chevetta, I have a cut. But uh, with straight razors, you can actually do small, small mistakes without, you know it. Yeah, uh, without uh, doing any damage. Okay, I'm finished. No rings. Yeah, I was talking about using two types of metal on the katana blades. They, I think called the inner core or inner the inner core on the blade in there <laughs> there's soft steel that is flexible and um, the outer core they put another layer of uh, hardened another type of hardened steel and just cover it up and uh, melt it together and that steel is much much harder so when they have forged the blade to the length you get the inner core that is soft and the outer core that is hard and when they quench that they get the uh, so hard steel on the outer part of the blade so there will not be no damage they can put a pure pretty pretty sharp edge on that blade without cracking and still the blade is flexible so they can flex it and it's because the inner core is uh, softer so there is what is uh, pretty much a skillful blacksmithing and knowledge to, by doing a katana knife or katana blade. So if you have a chance to look at some of these videos that people do, traditional Japanese katana swords, take a look at the videos and look. It's pretty awesome to see a lot of masters learning to do these katanas there is risk that these uh, knowledge is gonna disappear in the future i hope not because it would be really sad okay that was the shave i hope you're all gonna have a really nice sunday afternoon and really nice next week upcoming week I um, hope I'm gonna get my brushes this Wednesday so I can show them to you and use them perhaps in my next shape. <laughs> See you later everybody, have a great week, Sunday and great week. Bye bye.